Welcome back to Redneck Tech, and on this episode of In My Opinion, we're talking about why I really think GoPros suck. I've been in this business, the outdoor content creation business, for a little over 11 years now, and GoPros have been around for most of that. The early days of GoPro, anybody will agree with me on this, I'm pretty sure, they were complete and utter trash. I have watched them being hum out of tree stands, dog cussed, used as everything but a camera, point of view camera, just because they never would do the basic functions of a camera. They would not hold a charge when you charge them. You'd plug them in and they wouldn't charge when you plug them into charge. They would corrupt cards. They wouldn't come on. Uh, you would fully charge them. They'd say they're fully charged. You put them in your bag, get to where you're going, and they're dead. Um, nothing about them worked like it was supposed to. And it was really frustrating. And it was like that for years until the Garmin Verb and now the DJI Osmo Action. And I feel like the Osmo Action is a far superior camera. Now, I say that, and that is my opinion, because I haven't touched a GoPro in years. I've had some people tell me the newer ones are better, but they were such trash for so long, I refused to use them. I refused to spend any of our money at Copa Creative on a GoPro ever again. Because I know when I pick up one of these Osmos, it's going to work, it's going to charge, it's going to do the basic functions of a point of view camera that it's supposed to do. And when you're out in the field and you have the confidence that that camera that you're gonna strap to an area of a vehicle that a camera's not supposed to go, or you're using it as a second angle for a kill, or you're using it as for live cutaways, that it's gonna work, the batteries aren't gonna die on you, the card's not gonna corrupt, all the things that GoPros are notorious for doing, I'm gonna pick up an Osmo action every time. We started with the Osmo, I think this is the Osmo 2, uh, and had the front facing screen, which was a huge game changer for us, is having that to where you can actually set it up and see what you're looking at. And then now we just got the new Osmo 3. We haven't got to use it a ton. Uh, it's quite a bit bigger. Um, it's got a nicer back screen, nicer front screen. It's got all those things. But in terms of image quality, they're great. Uh, they might not be what you guys think a GoPro is, but we look at these cameras as a point of view, as a second angle, as a what we call a safety angle. We're not ever using this as a main camera for anything. We're never ever using the audio. We'll reference the audio but these are purely for a safety or a, a different perspective or a three second shot going down the road. So when we talk about specs and you talk about the, all the things that GoPro might have over the Osmo, I don't care. I want it to work and GoPro has proved to me over the years they're not gonna work. Osmo has proved that they will. So we're gonna be an Osmo family here. 